Bronze pack method is absolutely crazy right now. And the reason being is because these daily upgrades. Now, with these daily upgrades, all we need is one bronze to put into this and we get ourselves a bronze pack back. Now, the reason why this is so good, because if you are new to grinding or you want to start over how to grind SBCs, for example, when Bappes, Asabios, Hullets, Icon picks and much more, you need to go ahead and complete these SBCs. One bronze comment, you get yourself a premium bronze players pack back, which we'll open in a second. And then again, with the silver upgrade, bear in mind if you do this every single day, one silver comment into this, make sure they're off league and you've got yourself, again, another really good pack to do the league SBCs. So if you don't know what off leagues are, I'll quickly touch into it, is cards that don't go into the premium mixed league SBC or the mixed league SBC. Let's go jump over to the store now. So with this bronze pack, we get ourselves 12 bronze players, three rare. Now the three rare can go into one SBC and then the rest of the commons can go into another. So for example, the way we would break this down is we've got a league SBC player, a league SBC player, and we have another league SBC player here and one more here. And then the rest can go into any other SBC. So if you are looking to do the league SBCs and make your way through in the grind, now is the best time to do it. If you don't know where to put certain players, don't worry, I will cover it. And then I will go into bronze pack method. So... With that bronze daily upgrade that we've just done with that one comment, the next step for you to do is go ahead and go in to upgrades. Make sure you're scrolling all the way to the end and you're looking for the premium bronze upgrade, not the bronze upgrade. Make sure it's the premium. The premium is going to be the best value for you. And then we can go ahead and put in 11 bronzes. Make sure they are common. And if you go to your newest, you can see here which ones we've got. So all the off-league cards that I've mentioned can go into this. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this off-camera very quickly. So as you can see there, that's been done. They're all off-league cards. They're all bronze commons that we got from the first pack that we did. Now, this is going to give us another pack, which is going to be a silver pack. So if you need silvers, you can work your way into that. There is also one other SBC I'll show you. But let me show you what to do with your silvers first. And then go back to the bronze and silver rares. So this premium silver players pack, we've got, again, three silver rares. The rest are common, are from the daily upgrade where we put in one silver. And again, a League SBC player, a League SBC player, an upgrade, League SBC player, upgrade, upgrade, League SBC, League SBC, League SBC, League SBC, League SBC again. Then we have an upgrade, and then we have ourselves a silver rare, which is probably untradeable. It's not. So you can see here, another upgrade for that one. So that pack alone, the value of that is so good to do right now. So if you don't know where to put in your bronze rares and silver rares, let me show you. So you want to go over to the icon tab and put them into every single one of these icon SBCs. Every single one has a bronze rare and a silver rare section. This is going to give you a small amount of coins back that you can then go ahead and put into bronze pack method. Once you've done all of these with your bronze and silver rares, you can go ahead and look at your upgrades. You can have a look at your daily gold upgrade, which you can do three times a day. We need to have exactly 11 bronzes, 11 silvers. That's going to give you six silvers and six bronzes back as a pack. So complete that twice. You then get yourself 12 bronzes and 12 silvers back in packs, which means you can play it one more time overall. That's then going to give you 11 gold players that can go into the start of the league SBCs, these two here on your screen. And then you can start working your way into the 100 upgrade. I am going to do a video a little bit later on today or tomorrow where I'm going through the, the grind, essentially how it works. Works. But we are going to move over to bronze pack now. Let's say you don't have anything in your club. I always say start off with 10,000 coins if you can. If you don't have 10,000 coins, then basically all you need to do is play a couple games of squad battles, rivals, etc. And then start opening bronze packs. Now the misconception or the misinformation about bronze packs is you're looking to make money straight away. That is not true. You are looking to build your club up. So for example, we're going to go ahead and discard all of these contracts, TFOs and badges looking at our players. So we haven't got any league SBC players here. But every one of these players can be used into those bronze upgrades that I just showed you because they are common. Now, there are some bronze managers that go for very, very good price. And you are looking to sell those. But whether we get that in today's video or not. But the reason why you don't need to worry about losing your coins is because if you're playing the game anyway, you're going to get these coins from just playing in terms of doing objectives and much more as well as like match coins and etc. So, for example, that is going to be a League SBC player. We can have a look to sell him. If he doesn't sell for more than 300, keep them. That's an upgrade. And then this card is also an upgrade. So that can go into the bronze upgrade that we saw. That one can go into an icon as well, as you can see there. But just for this video, we're going to put them up into our transfer list. So you want to do this as many times as you possibly can until either you get bored of doing it or you spent your 10,000. Now, if you pack anything from these bronze packs that are worth coins, you add that to your 10,000 list. So let's just say for argument's sake, this manager was worth 5,000 coins. That would be 5,000 towards our 10,000. So if we sold it for 5,000, we've got ourselves another 5,000 to spend on bronze packs. Unfortunately, he's not worth anything. And again, these two can go into an icon SPC. This bronze comma can go into any upgrade we want. 
Now, the more you do this, the more beneficial it comes. I always get this question saying, is it not worth just bidding on the bronzes you need? Now, that is very, very true. But you are then missing out on the possibility of packing players that are worth coins. Like I say, it's becoming a little bit harder to do that. But there are still some that are worth coins. And again, you're not going to get the value back. So, for example, let's say this card looks like he sells. We're going to go to the end to see. Now, if you want to know if they sell or not, you want to look to see how many cards are listed up at two, 300. So, if there's not many here, we can scroll all the way to the end. Looks like 500 is the price for him. So, we're going to list him up for 400 coins. So, let's say we bought him off the market for 400 coins. We are not going to make any money. We get 96 back. So, that's cost us 500 coins back altogether. Now, if we were to buy each one every one of these off the market, that's going to cost us 450 coins altogether. So we've actually would have made value back off this pack because we wouldn't have spent 150 on every bronze card and a 400 on that bronze rare. We've actually discarded a little bit back. We've added that bronze rare to give our money back. And then we got ourselves three bronze commons back, even cheaper than it would be to buy them. So that's kind of how bronze pack method works in that sense. And then we have ourselves anything else here. No managers are worth anything. So again, we're going to discard. But you can see I do this a lot. So I'm going to have a lot of bronze commons and bronze rares that are duplicates. FC24 has more packs in the store than I've ever seen. We have evolutions that cost you coins and points. Kit objectives that cost you coins and points. I have the perfect solution for you. Head over to u7buy.com. Select how many coins you want to purchase. Select your payment method. And don't forget to select add discount and put in code NANIC for that 6% off on all orders. Link will be down in the description. You're most likely not going to have that if you're doing it from scratch. But once you've gone through 10,000 coins worth, I think we're on the fourth or fifth pack now. I haven't really been counting. We'll open up one more and then we'll go back into the grind process and what you should be doing. So the, how the video started, that's where your bronze commons are going to go. And then once you've done those and there's no more of them for the day, you are going to move on to the next step, which I'll show you after this pack. So again, we're just checking to see if anybody's worth anything. None of those are. So now we can move to the next step. So let's go back over to our SBC tab. So with our bronze commons that we've got, we're going to go ahead and do this daily gold upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and put in all the bronze commons we have just got in this video. So set this to bronze common, set this to newest, making sure they are off leagues and they don't go into any league SBCs. And then we're going to get ourselves back another bronze pack back from that, from doing the bronze pack method anyway. So you can see here, we are getting extra packs along the way in terms of time and basically coin beneficial sort of situation this is in my opinion still the best way to do it and you can see here we have now gone ahead and put in 11 bronze cards that we got from doing the bronze pack method now that's going to give us a bronze pack back we're going to open up this bronze pack and do the exact same thing so we make our way over small bronze players pack now this is tradable the chance of you packing a bronze card that's worth something is very slim at the moment but you still could. But again, we got this technically for free, as it were. So we can have a look. That's a league SBC player that doesn't sell. Then we've got ourselves an upgrade, 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 and another league SBC player. Now, if you don't know where the league SBCs go, I will show you nearer to the end of the video. And then we're going to move on to our next step. So to get this common silver pack, we got that from doing the daily silver upgrade. It's going to give us four silvers. We got ourselves a Libertadores card, which is going to be really good for doing the league SBCs down the line. And they are the hardest ones to get. And we've also got ourselves a league player here who hopefully is tradable he is now he does go for a little bit of coins luckily for me i have him from doing the grind if you don't then don't worry you can go ahead and put him into the league sbc and get yourself underway so we're going to go ahead and sell him for 450 which is almost half a bronze pack back and then this silver card here goes for about 250 coins as well so a little bit more coins back this silver upgrade will go, sorry, this silver card will go into an upgrade. This will go into a league SBC. So let me go ahead and show you what ones you should be doing. So depending on the state of your club, you want to keep doing the bronzes and getting all the bronzes done out of the way. Once you've done that, all of your silver commons are going to go back into this daily gold upgrade. You can do this three times a day. I'm only going to do it once in the video just to explain what you should be doing. But again, silver common, our most recent. And then every player in this is going to be ones that are not used for league SBCs. And if you need to get more silvers, just keep doing those bronze upgrades, which I'll show you again in a minute on the video if you don't know which ones I'm on about. And you can basically just get endless packs by doing this. Yes, you could argue that it's not worth the coins, but just imagine you're doing squad battles, you're doing rivals, you're doing foot champs and qualies, and you're opening up tradable packs while doing objectives, and you make a little bit of coins back there. If you're putting bronze packs back into these, you're just going to get an endless amount of packs. So we get a silver pack back that's tradable, which we can go ahead and sell, and then we get this gold pack. So I'm going to go back to the store now and explain to you what you should be doing with this gold pack. Don't forget, this has all come from doing bronze pack method, and we've managed to get ourselves underway. So this gold pack, you get one rare, and you get yourselves 10 commons. 
Doesn't sound amazing, but I promise you it's really good for doing League SBCs, especially if you're starting from scratch. So, for example, this card is an upgrade, a League SBC, League SBC, League SBC, League SBC, an upgrade, upgrade, League SBC, upgrade, and then we have an MLS card from a League SBC, and we have a La Liga for a League SBC as well. Now, if you don't know what upgrades to do, depending on when you are doing this, for example, today is Saturday. On Mondays, we get brand new upgrades, but there is ones you can be doing. So I like to do the winter crafting upgrade because we are going to get ourselves more packs from doing the milestones. So again, you want to go ahead and put in all your golds from off leagues that are not used for the league SBC cards. We're going to go ahead and do this off camera now. So that has been done now and all of these cards are off league cards that we don't need to use from the women's league or the Hungarian league and much more. And that has all come from doing the bronze pack method into the silver upgrades, into the gold upgrades, etc. And that one has been done. Now, we have got ourselves an MLS duplicate, so we're going to make our way over to the Mixed League SBC. Now, this one here, the Serie BKT in Bundesliga 2, can solely be done from Bronze Pack Method. The MLS and Championships are a little bit harder, but again, we can show you what we've got from our club from doing Bronze Pack Method and the upgrade. So if we make our way over to the MLS, set this to newest, which is the most recent pack, and there is our gold card we got. And you can see here we've got these two bronzes. We've got a few silvers that I got in the other video I just posted. And you can get this done as well. you just got to make sure they're not from the same club. That's the only issue you're going to have. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is have a look in my club at what golds I have from the MLS and get that one done. And we're going to go and pop in a load of these players, and I'll be right back once that's done. So you can see here we got ourselves five bronze cards, the rest of gold. Now you need to build your golds up over time, but you can see here bronze pack methods come in clutch to be able to get this done. Now this is going to give us one pack back, which is fantastic, premium mixed players pack, and then we can use that pack to grind into the next league SBC, which I'm not going to go into. I've done that plenty of times. But moving over to the Serie BKT, and then moving over to the Bundesliga 2. If we move over to the Bundesliga 2 here, for example, set this to low to high and then to bronze. That's gold. I obviously don't know what bronze means. You can see here we can go ahead and put in all these players. Now, this is all from Bronze Pack Method. You want to get put them all in that you can. Obviously, you need to have one from each club. I'm just going to go and put them in now just to show you that you can get the rating done with them. And then I'll go ahead and move them around for chemistry and make sure they're not from the same team. But you see, I've got loads and loads of bronzes and much more from doing this. So you can see here, we've got the rating, we've got the chemistry, but we have players from the same team. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle these round now. And that one has been complete as well. All Bundesliga and then one Serie BKT. And this is going to give us a gold pack tradable. So again, going back to doing bronze pack method, if you're doing this method as well, you're going to get gold cards. You're going to get contracts and much more to discard. Or even sell, or shall I say, not necessarily discard. So again, we're going to go ahead and set back our MLS card that we had duplicate from doing the gold upgrade. And now we have ourselves this gold pack tradable. Now you want to sell and discard everything out of this pack. If you get an icon, a special card, etc., go ahead and sell. It doesn't matter. Unfortunately, it's that we've got Fernandez or Enzo, as they call him. So there's nothing too crazy there. But an 83 is going to be really welcome. Not only that, we got quite lucky and got 1,000 coins. And you can see here, from doing Bronze Pack Method, we get ourselves 1,000 coins, 450 coins back. And then we're going to go ahead and sell all of these cards on the market for about 400 each. So if we were to add out, we got ourselves about two, three thousand 3,000 coins back from this gold pack alone. Without even selling Enzo, who's probably a little bit up in price. that says around 2,500. Obviously, you should check the prices a bit better than I'm doing, but just for the video, so we're doing it quicker. But that alone has paid for almost half of our bronze packs that we opened in this video, or even all of them that we opened. And we got a little bit of the League SBC done. We got ourselves a tradable silver pack from doing the gold upgrade as well. We can go ahead and sell all those. And this is why bronze pack method is so good right now, because you can do this every single day, and you can make so many coins from doing it as well. Now, if you want to go through every single one of these cards and sell these, again, we're going to make some coins off these. And that's going to cover the entire video in terms of what we spent. Now, if I send them to my club just for now, I should go ahead and sell them, but just for the video's sake, I'll go back to the club and show you. If we work our way over to the transfer list, not only have we done the mixed league, half of that's been done. We've also done one daily gold login. We've also, on top of that, done our daily bronze and silver upgrade that we need to do. And then we have these premium bronze and premium silver upgrades when you need more golds and you need more silvers. Put all your bronze commas into those, all of your silver commas into these. Get those gold commas to start building up the league SBCs. And then you literally have no excuse but to start getting good things in packs. You can see we sold a couple cards here. We are selling the rest of these cards as we speak. And that's going to be the video. If you have any questions, comment down below. I will do like the best grind ever tomorrow where we go through bronze pack method all the way through every single league SBC, how you should be doing it, plus the 83 times 10 and much more. And I'll catch you in the next video.